I just love these Art Deco bottles from the 20s and 30s. Today, let's learn about Orange Crush on this episode of Antique Bottle Stories. Clayton J. Howell was born in 1878 in Alabama. He was involved with the Jersey Cream Company in some capacity in the early 1900s. I don't have a beginning or end date for this company. The earliest date I see is 1907, but that's a court date, so it was already in business by then. And the latest date I see for this company is 1931, as you can see in this article. It looks like Jersey Cream is responsible for the invention of the sanitary straw dispenser that establishments still use today. Howell started a company called Southern Fruit Julep Company. Again, court dates are all I can find for this company. So the earliest court date was 1915 and the latest is 1925. From what I can tell, there were three locations. Fort Worth, Texas, Chicago, Illinois, and Philadelphia. So putting the pieces together, this is where he developed Howell's Orange Julep. I also see a cherry julep and a grape julep, as well as root beer. At some point, Howell sells Orange Julep and his name attached to the product. I see a few court dates in the mid-1920s, so it's still operating for a while after he sells this company, but I don't have much information on how or when it ends. So backing up a little bit, in 1911, he became the founder of the Orange Crush Company. He partnered with Neil C. Ward and incorporated the company in 1916. Neil Callan Ward was born in 1882 in Michigan. He was a beverage and extract chemist. On Neil's World War I draft records, he's living in Los Angeles, and I thought it was interesting because usually this part is blank, but it shows that he has an existing eye injury from an explosion, also an injured foot, and he was asthmatic. He was married and had at least one kid. Ward used to be part of another business called Celery Aid that began in 1908. There was a time during the 1900s that celery flavored beverages were all the rage. I have another video talking about the popularity of celery back in the 20s and 30s. Anyways, that company got bought out and at some point Ward and Howell go into business together. Ward developed the formula for Orange Crush in 1915. He was 34 at the time. Soft drinks of these early times were sometimes named after their inventor. Since Howell sold the rights to his name in conjunction with his first brand, Howell's Orange Julep, he couldn't use his name this time. So when Orange Crush first appeared, it was named Ward's Orange Crush. One source said that originally Orange Crush included orange pulp in the bottles, and another source says that there wasn't orange juice in the beverage, but there was oil from the orange skins. By 1921, orange juice was added to Orange Crush. Lemon and Lime Crush soon followed, which also had lemon and lime juices. Ward's Orange Crush proved to be more successful than his first soft drink, the Celery Aid. Widespread advertising of Ward's Orange Crush were underway by 1919. While the company was headquartered in Chicago, its laboratories remained in Los Angeles. By the way, these are decorative soda fountain dispensers. I just thought they were really cool. They're collectible these days. One thing I noticed right off the bat years ago when I started collecting bottles is the ingredients. Here's a list of 1924 ingredients on the Orange Crush bottles. A compound prepared from oil of orange, orange juice, citric acid, and purest sugar syrup, colored with harmless food colors. While today's labels read, carbonated water, high fructose corn syrup, and or sugar, a bunch of other things that are just chemicals, um, including one that says glycerol ester of wood rosin. I don't even know what that is. 
but it contains no juice. In fact, there's no mention of orange anything. I honestly want to see what real soda back then tasted like. It would probably blow our mind in contrast to what they call soda today. So anyways, my bottle is marked patented July 20th, 1920. Orange Crush Bottle Company, six fluid ounces. They used this crinkly design, that's what they called it, crinkly bottle. They used this bottle until about 1955. I don't see a date of manufacture on this one, but it's uh, quite heavy, as is the norm for bottles of this time period that held carbonated drinks. It's machine made, uh, has a crown top, and it's just a really sleek art deco design. There was a time when they manufactured amber colored bottles the same shape and look, but the thought was that the amber glass would protect the contents from light. Neil Ward died in 1939, and Clayton Howell died in 1964, but as you can see, you can still buy Orange Crush today. The Crush brand is currently owned by Keurig Dr. Pepper of Plano, Texas. Crush is also popular in Canada. Crush is now available in a lot of fruity flavors now. And that's all I have for today. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.